Good morning everyone and welcome back to another journal flip through. Um, if I get shaky, I do apologise, I'm holding the camera but it is the quickest way to make a journal flip through. Um, so this is journal number 8 and this is AJ Burroughs journal. I did cover it with some pink glitter contact but because I wore it out a lot and it wore in places that it started kind of marking up really yucky so I decided to just cover it with some skateboard stickers so it's not exactly the greatest cover um, the inside cover I did a lot of decorating on this side I stuck a journal card there and I just didn't get around to doing anything else um, but I did start this journal on the 21st of January 2019 and I finished on the 17th of April 2019 um, so yeah I did spend a fair bit of time in this journal so as you can see it did kind of start falling apart there um, but it is still together which is great so um, and as you can see this page is a bit lopsided because it kind of started um, wrecking at the spine but yeah it's like I said it's not a bad thing um, so, uh, excuse, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> um, yeah, um, continuing on, Crystal's just, um, I don't know what she's thinking. So, um, here I printed out a, um, printout from Pinterest and I pretty much pasted that down and I put some washi tape on either side. I used a lot of scrapbook paper in this journal as well and a lot of die cuts and stickers. So here I got this um, idea from Lovelyn's Life. Um, you know, once your alpha stickers become useless, um, you can pretty much kind of use it on a page like this. Um, but I've actually been using a lot of my um, alpha stickers lately, like in my current journal that I've been working in. Um, so this here is the first um, layout and my first journal entry. So I used um, some scrapbook paper. I used this adorable washi tape that I got from AliExpress. But I did notice that, um, as you can see here, believe has been spelled incorrectly but other than that I absolutely love this washi tape it's one of my favorites I just love the fact that it's that gorgeous blue and you know it's also foiled as well and it has rainbows on it um, you know you can't get any better than some really nice rainbow washi tape so um, yeah I did a bit of a unicorn theme and here I got a a quote from Pinterest and I pretty much wrote it down on some scrapbook paper and then I cut it out and pasted it down there and I did use up some uh, unicorn um, alpha stickers that I got from the reject shop here I did a mermaid layout and I kind of used up some like um, sea related uh, stickers on this page here and then I did a fairy layout and I used up some butterfly stickers that I don't normally use. Um, I really need to start using them up. Uh, here I used a journal card and then some uh, scrapbook paper. And again, a quote from uh, Pinterest. This is a printable that I got from Pinterest as well. Um, I've got loads of stuff from Pinterest, literally, um, just like a whole heap of printouts. Um, I just find it so helpful, um, you know, and they're really great to use in your journal. So here, Australia Day, um, I themed it in that blue and red and white uh, colours. And then, yeah, I had to use the gold alpha stickers that I had as well. This page here I did a washi and sticker page and I just used up kind of you know samples of the washies that I have and then 
um, skateboard stickers as well and then other stickers just random stickers that I probably wouldn't use in my normal um, like page layouts that I have in my journal I thought this would be a awesome way to kind of use up uh, some of those stickers instead of wasting them or throwing them away um, here I did an antique uh, or vintage page um, like don't get me wrong I really love vintage looks I just don't think I'm really great at creating a vintage look it's really hard for me even though I do have a lot of um, vintage style die cuts and uh, scrapbook paper and washi tape I just find it really hard to use sometimes but this here is washi tape that I just kind of stuck down I thought it looked nice there it's not too bad but you know it's not my favorite layout this one here, um, obviously I was slack, so I just used up some scrapbook paper. I wrote a quote here again from um, Pinterest. Um, I put in a journal card. Nothing too special. This one here, I did an owl theme. Using up some owl stickers that I have. Um, so we're in February. So this is my cover page for February. It's not completed. Um, I kind of did a little design down the bottom here and up the top and then down the side here, which I didn't even end up coloring in. Um, but, you know, that's okay. So, um, and here... Um, obviously I wasn't keeping up with my journaling so I kind of went from the 1st of February to the 8th of February and I did a bit of a review of like what happened um, during those you know in between those two dates um, I used a journal card here I really love this journal card um, and then I got a, a quote from Pinterest and I just wrote it down on there um, and I used a lot of stickers up as well um, so a lot of stickers from Coles, like these um, My Little Pony stickers, and then um, Kmart stickers. Uh, this page here, I didn't do much again. I just pretty much done a whole heap of writing. So basically I was just writing about forensic archaeology and forensic evidence. Um, I basically um, was kind of... Uh, remembering when I was back at uni and like this was basically the favorite um, subjects that I did it was the most interesting I absolutely enjoyed it and I you know kind of wrote down everything that we did um, it was so fun um, we got to learn about the um, like all the human bones in the body um, we also got to um, observe and work with uh, real human remains so we were able to kind of um, identify whether you know um, that person had arthritis or had an injury like a fracture or broken bone um, just basic stuff like that um, we also got to um, like our lecturer created kind of crime scenes for us and we had to kind of go in and um they were with fake human remains but um basically we had to go in and kind of find um the remains and then um bag them correctly and um how to kind of put them in the system and we learnt basically like collecting evidence and yeah the correct way to um bag it and store it um and that was really fun because we were outside and yeah we were just basically on this huge field um and our lecturer he pretty much hid all kinds of stuff um like bones and evidence like necklaces and just all sorts of stuff um and yeah we kind of had to go and do a swoop of the whole place and it was so fun um, and he had to let the police know that he was putting like fake human remains um, in this area because a lot of people kind of bike ride around that area. So if they got any phone calls and, you know, they were saying 
that they found something that wasn't right, like human remains, blah, 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 that he's actually placed them there for um, a, what would you call it, like a, a workshop. And the police did end up getting phone calls. Um, we were also allowed to go into the medical um, part of the university because they also um, have – uh, deceased persons and we were able to observe that and um, basically uh, see things that you wouldn't normally see so like um, the organs and we were also allowed to see the brain as well um, but I won't get into that because you know some people might think that's super gross um, but yeah the forensic evidence was super fun as well um, so on this page here, it's nice and bright. I use this nice journal card here. I used up some um, stickers that I got from Kmart. Uh, I also used some um, scrapbook paper and then I just used this sticker to put on top. And I used up some ice cream stickers that I have. And that's a printout there from uh, Pinterest. It didn't really turn out that great. Like these printables here that I printed from Pinterest actually turned out really good. Um, and the scrapbook paper that you see there, um, that's actually, um, what do you call it? Origami paper that you get from Daiso. I've got loads of it, so I kind of thought I would use that up. Again, using some origami paper and some principles from Pinterest. And here, uh, this was my son's birthday. Um, so for the first time, he stayed home uh, from school on his birthday. Um, so this layout that I did, um, I used some really nice rainbow washi. And then I did the... Um, that font that I got from Pinterest and I basically coloured in kind of making it all nice and colourful to go nice together um, I pasted down these flowers that I printed from Pinterest um, and that was a pretty nice day um, until about I think it was quarter to two in the afternoon literally it was like a mini cyclone had come through cans it was crazy as and our wooden fence at the back actually came down and then we like we found out a couple of hours later that um, there were wind gusts of up to 90 kilometres per hour. It was super crazy. Um, and, yeah, we had a severe thunderstorm warning as well. So we had some awesome thunder uh, going on at the same time. And it only lasted for about 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. Like, yeah, it was so crazy. And then when I went to go and pick my daughter up from school, the roads were such a mess. There were so many trees down. People's fences were down as well. Um, and I didn't even realise that our back fence had gone down. It was that crazy. Um, I ended up finding what we found out probably two hours later when I went out the back and I was like, oh, my God, our, you know, wooden fence has gone down. So we had to, like, get out there and fix it up. So here, um, this is a printout from... Pinterest, absolutely cute, and then I kind of stuck some flowers around the outside there. Um, I put a journal card here, um, and yeah, so I put that sticker there with the wind and the cloud um, because of it was such a windy day that day. Um, uh, they said it was like a severe thunderstorm and like a severe windstorm that um, just came through randomly. And there were just reports everywhere of, like, trees and fences that had gone down. Um, so here I put down, um, I think that's origami paper. I'm not positive, um, but I glued this picture that I printed from Pinterest um, over the top of it. I thought it looked nice anyway, and I did use different washi tapes um, on, on the edges. And I think I might leave it here on this nice looking page because um, it's getting to 15 minutes. Um, I just don't want to make it any longer really. Um, 
so yeah this is um, my last journal layout for this video um, I used some scrapbook paper again and die cuts as well as principles and um, and some stickers so I hope you guys enjoyed this journal flip through um, if you did and you want to subscribe go ahead and do that I would appreciate the support and love um, and yeah, I want to thank you guys for, um, giving me all the support. Um, I really, really love it. And I love hearing your comments. Um, such lovely comments I've received lately. Um, thank you guys so much. Um, so yeah, I will, um, get a next journal flip through of this journal up as soon as I can. Um, I'm trying to keep my videos nice and frequent um, by uploading every so often. Um, so let's hope I can keep it up. But yeah, thank you guys. And um, little Missy mode just, yeah, getting in the way. So it's a good thing that we're ending. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye now.